Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Yes, it's me again. The Lord have given me this good opportunity. You too. You're facing in uh, YouTube and in internet. Hallelujah. God bless you. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, my sisters and my brothers, my names are Pastor Sister Magdalene Emily Tanui. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, today the Lord have chosen me again to talk with you, my sisters and my brothers, to share this word of Lord together, because the Lord promised, and he do. Many people say that the Lord promised, but the Lord don't do it. But me, I believe that the Lord do it because God is good. And he will promise, he will do it. Sometimes we say that he promised, but he don't do it. He delay. But even if he delay, it doesn't matter. He will do it. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to read today the book of Jeremiah, 30, verse 1. 30, verse 1 to 3. No, no, sorry. We are going to read the book of Jeremiah 30, verse 1 to verse 4. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of Lord say, the Lord's promise to his people. Amen. Amen. The Lord promised to his people. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. So, I read in Jesus' name. I hope you too also, you have opened it your own, and we read together. Amen. Amen. I read. The book of Jeremiah 30, verse 1 to verse 4. The Lord, the God of Israel, say to me, write down in a book everything that I have told you. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the time is coming when I will restore my people. Hallelujah. Amen. Israel and you there, I will bring them back to the land that I gave their ancestors, and they will take position. Of it again. I, the Lord, have spoken. The Lord says to the people of Israel and you there. Hallelujah. Amen. I will read it again in Jesus' name. I read. The Lord, the God of Israel, said to me, Write down. In a book, everything that I have told you, because the time is coming when I will restore my people, Israel and Judea, I will bring them back to the land that I gave their ancestors. And they will take positions of it again. I, the Lord, have spoken. Amen. The Lord says to the people of Israel and Judea. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So you hear my brother and my sister, the word of Lord, what the Lord is telling us. The Lord is saying that he, uh, the Lord is saying about his promise to his people. His people is we, me and you. The Lord promise, the Lord promise, the Lord promise. You know why I say that and how this word touched me. The Lord promise, um, the Lord promise he promised us. He promised me. He promised you. The Lord promised um, that 
one day, one day, we are going to go heaven. But you know, it's not for everybody. Yes, it's not for everybody. It is only for those ones who, who they believe in Jesus Christ. Yes. Those are the people, they have covenant with God. They are waiting for Jesus to come and take them to heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I read this message and it touched me because many people say, um, many people say that um, Jesus promised he will come. He will come, he will come. But he don't come. So many people, they are doubting and they are asking themselves. People are preaching, preaching, preaching and saying that Jesus said he will come. One day he will come like a thief. Hallelujah. Jesus said one day he will come like a thief. But Jesus promised. He said, I go to my father. There are many houses. There are many rooms. And I am going to make a paradiso for you. And I promise I will come and take you home. That is a promise. The Lord of Israel promised the children of Israel and Judea. We are the children of Israel. We are the children of Jehovah Rapha. He promised, he promised us that he will. He will come. Jesus said he will come. He will come. He go to heaven and make a paradiso. Jesus went to make a paradiso. And he will come back to take us home. And that is a promise. My sister, my brother. Lord, promise never failed because it's Lord, it's the King of Kings, it's Jehovah Rapha. The Lord promised and he will do it. I believe that he will do it. Because why? This world, I always say that this world is not our home. Because this world, it has its own beginning and the end. And human beings too, they have their beginning and their end. Nobody will live in this earth forever. Nobody. Nobody. Everything has beginning and the end. So even this, even this wall, it has beginning and the end. And even because the Lord Jesus Christ say, he promised, this is a promise for us. If you read it well, I read it again, I read it again. The promise of the children of Israel, we are the one. Jesus Christ will come one day, the Lord. He will come and take us home to the promised land. And our promised land is heaven. Yes. Our promised land is paradiso. Because the paradiso is already ready. And that is what he promised. He said that he will come. He will come one day and he will come and take his children. So you see, and he say, he say that. I promise my children of Israel and Judea. Their children is the Christians, the children who obey God, the children who, who, who repent, the children who humble themselves, the children who love God, the children who, who, who hear the voice of God, the children um, who, who they do good things in the world. They are, they are kind, they are humble. Those are the children who Lord is coming to take them. You hear he talked to two to, to countries, Israel and Judea. Because it is not all of them. Oh. It is not all of them. It is not all of them. There are people who they are called and chosen. There are people who are born again and they are baptized. And they are, uh, they are born again in Christ. They are, they, are, they, are, they are born again in Christ. They have washed their sins. You know, so these people are the one who they are, they, are, they are coming to go with Jesus because they don't sleep. Yeah, they don't sleep. The Lord say, don't sleep. Don't sleep because I will come like a thief. Jesus said that. Those are the children who all over the night, they are waiting for the Lord. All over the time, waiting for the Lord. And even if they get tired, they are not going to, they are not going to sleep 12 hours. If they sleep very long, very, very long, a Christian person, if they sleep very long, maybe four hours, if that is too much for, for, for a Christian. But Christians, they don't sleep, boom. 
People who are born again, they don't sleep, boom, because they have promise and covenant with God. Because God tells them, I will come. Any time, any minute I will come. So always they are ready, because that promise is there. And that promise, the Lord promises, he's going to do it. He promised that I promise the Lord have spoken. He says so. He says so. Um, let me let me read it and then you can hear it. Here, number four. The yeah, not number four. Um, let me go back a little bit. Yes, there. Um, number three. I, the Lord, have spoken. Number four. The Lord says to the people of Israel and Judea. Israel and Judea are the children who are born again, are the children who are baptized, are the children who have given their life to Jesus Christ, are the children who they believe in Jesus, are the children who they repent their sins, children who they forgive, children who they humble themselves, children who they love each another, children who they are kind, they, they, they appreciate forgiveness and they, they, they do also forgiveness. Because if you don't appreciate forgiveness from another person, you also you cannot forgive. Or if you cannot forgive somebody, and then you too you cannot appreciate a forgiveness. So those are the children the Lord is coming to take them home. And let me tell you, my sister, my brother, there is a promise. The Lord say he will come. Don't give up. Don't surrender following Jesus. Don't surrender following Jesus. Don't surrender. Just follow Jesus. Hear the voice of Jesus. Call his name. Because the Bible says, the word of Lord says, Jesus says, who will call my name in the last day? He's going to be safe. So never surrender. Call him every time. Call him every time, in the time of problems, in the time of happiness, in the time of sickness, in the time of um, uh, your properties, in the time of your children, time of your husband, time of your wife, time of your family, time of your workplace, time of loving, time of crying. Call Jesus. Call him every time. He said, who will call my name in the last day? He's going to be safe. And I love this word of the Lord say that. He promised the children of Israel. And he will come and take them to the promised land. We are going to make heaven in Jesus' name. Yes. But when, believe in, when we believe in Lord, oh, when we follow him, yes, we have to leave the things of the world, not to admire these things of the world, because these things of the world, oh, they are too much. Sometimes you see them, you see they are very, very, very good. But we forget that in heaven is a paradiso. That in heaven, the Lord has have, have made for us a paradiso. Where the promised land, he promised us where we will go. To sit with him and talk. To be happy. And talking stories saying, I do this that time, I do this. He's wiping our sweat. He will be wiping our tears. He will holding and say, my children come to me. We will worship. We will sing. We will worship. We will sing. We will pray. Oh, it's a wonderful time that day. No sickness, no sadness, no tears, no problems, no hatred. Nobody will hate you. It will be just love and joy. So, my sister and my brother, that promise the Lord gave it to us. I know that he will do it. Lord will do it. Lord will do it. Believe it. Human being will promise you, but will not do it. Even me, I can promise somebody. And I will not do it because I couldn't make it. You see, I can promise somebody, okay, uh, maybe I will send you this, or maybe I will, do, I will do this for you. And then later, maybe I didn't succeed. And if I don't succeed, and then I cannot do. But the Lord Almighty God, he's the king of kings, Jehovah El Shaddai. He's Jehovah Rapha. He's the, he's the lion of Judah. He, he promised. He promised and he will do it. And even if we are saying that he don't do it, he's delaying. No, he's giving us time. He's giving us time. Because he wants us to repent. He wants us to humble ourselves, to follow him, to give our life to him. So that we don't go to hell. Because Lord didn't make hell for human beings. He made hell for Satan. And God made heaven for human beings. He made heaven for his children. That is the place where we are going to go. So let us wait for the promise. 
and we are going to make it by the grace of God. So my sisters and my brothers, Jesus loves you. The promise of Lord, he's going to do it. He is going to do it. I believe it. He's going to do it. Amen.